hello and welcome to Phoenix Cards and our weekly Pokemon video. And today I'm going to be opening up a, a Vivid Voltage Build and Paddle Kit or pre-release kit as they are sometimes known. As well as three extra Vivid Voltage Booster Packs. Now in my last video I did say that I was going to be doing a sort of a pre-release video. Um, unfortunately some stuff happened and I didn't get to attend. Um, but my LGS basically kept the kit aside for me um, and now I'm going to get to open it at home. So <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to get to open some cards before the release date which is pretty cool. Um, I have pre-ordered some Vivid Voltage sort of booster boxes already. Um, not a lot that I'm looking for in the set, mostly just some of the amazing rares just for like collection purposes and possibly maybe some Orbeetle or Colossal V and V Maxes for playability, but we'll just see how that goes and see if there's going to actually be any event um, happening anytime soon, to be honest. Um, we are in the UK in another lockdown, so events have stopped again, annoyingly. Um, but hopefully they'll, they'll pick up again before the end of the year. But moving on to better things, we do have our pre-release kit here uh, for the new set. So it's pretty cool tells you what you get inside so you get a 23 card evolution pack including one of four unique foil promo cards um, the promos are either Lugia, Snorlax, Donphan or Charizard then we get four Vivid Vulture booster packs and a code card for the online game so what we do is we'll get this open um, just use my scissors to open this up a little bit and then we'll have a look at what promo we actually get. Obviously everyone hopes to pull the Charizard. Um, and then we can open the booster packs. Um, because obviously I'm not playing in the event and most people have probably already been to a pre-release or opened a kit, I'm probably not going to open the actual evolution pack just because it is just bulk <laughs> technically. Um, obviously you get to see a few of the new cards from the set, you like evolution chains, and they throw in some trainers to help you build the deck um, and play at the pre-release event, but I don't need to do that. And most of the trainers, again, most of them will probably be from older sets, which so I probably already have those. So we're mainly looking at opening the booster packs, but we get to see what promo um, we get. A Charizard! So that was a pretty good box to open as this Charizard is crazy insane price at the moment. Everyone really wants to get hold of this, obviously, because it's got a, uh, a set stamp on it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that that we got the Charizard. Um, some people have been pushing these cards up to see if they've got more Charizards in the pack. Um, yeah, we got an awesome Charizard one. To be honest, like all, all the promos look pretty good for this set. Um, if I can find some pictures, I'll put them up on the video once I've edited it. Um, all, all the yeah, all the promos were pretty good. Most of them were pretty playable as well for a change, because normally you would get like one playable and the rest are rubbish, or you'll get like none of them playable. So the fact that they were, they are all sort of playable, I mean, Lugia is probably the worst one for playability wise but the artwork looks really cool on it so if you're a collector then it's a it's a good set of promos to try and get hold of so there are four booster packs we've got the all b tool pikachu zarud i think that's how you pronounce it because it's a new pokemon and a celebi so let's get these open and see if it was a good pre-release box for pools So as it's a new set, I won't be giving away the codes for this set just yet. Um, just because it helps sort of recoup a little bit of money, to be honest. Um, so we have a Rocky Helmet, Galvantula, Wash Energy, which is a, a new special energy for Water Pokemon, and is definitely one of the worst special energies we've had recently. Uh, Picky Peck, Puccina, a Rockruff, Blitzel, Skidoo, a reverse hollow electric, and the rare is a Steelix V. So we do get at least one ultra rare in this box, and that's pretty good because 
I mean, you you only get four packs in the box. You're not expecting to hit like any ultra rares, but you usually find that in pre-release kits that the pull rates tend to be a bit higher. I don't know whether that's because they want people to be interested in the set when it's officially released, so they think the pools are really good, they go and buy more, I'm not entirely sure. It may just be like the randomness factor on them. But that's pretty cool, we do get a Steelix V, so that is our first ultra rare. So on to our next pack. So we have a Galarian Stunfisk, a Coating Energy, which is an awesome spe special energy. Um, probably one of the, the best ones, basically because like ADP Zacian just rules the format at the moment. Though whether it'll be used in that deck, probably not, because you just want to get those basics in play as quickly as possible. But the Metal is quite high in the format at the moment, so it's definitely a good card. Most probably more for Luke Metal decks. But we have a Shuckle, a Sealot, a Picky Pack, Mudbray, a Joltic, Weedle, a Reverse Hollow Ferroform, and the rare is a Crocodile Non Hollow. So nothing there, though the coating energy is quite a nice pull. There are not many useful trainers in this set from what I can remember from looking at the set list. So yeah, your pools are going to be your ultra rares for this set. Um, obviously a lot of people looking for the Pikachu V and V Maxes, mostly for like collector purposes. Um, and then obviously the amazing rares are, are quite cool, they're, they're the new like special type of rarity. And we get another coating energy, so that's quite nice. Uh, a Hero's Medal, a Yanma, Galarian Meowth, a Duskull, a Voltorb. A Weedle, a lot of Weedles in his packs. Um, a Reverse Hollow Magcargo, and the rare is a Full Art AG Slash V Max, which only come in Full Arts and Rainbows, so I don't know why I said Full Art, but there we go. It is a Full Art nonetheless, and that is awesome. So we are getting a lot of metal stuff in this pre release box. We've had the Steelix, we've now got this AG Slash V Max, two coated metal energies. I mean, if we pull the the v as well in the last two packs that would have been a crazy pre-release to play in but that is pretty cool uh sorry the last one pack we have already opened three God, going through them so quickly i forgot how many we've opened oh come on there we go so on to our last pack which has seven and then we will get into the free extra booster packs. So basically, when you attend a pre-release event, you do your event and then most places will give everyone free prize packs or participation packs, however they want to, to call it, just so that everyone's on a level playing field and you get some extra booster packs to open. So it's quite cool. They are normally like fun to attend. And then obviously you get quite a decent pool of cards for like, before the pre-release, uh, before the normal release, you know what I mean. So we've got Shuppet, uh, Ferris Seed, Joltic, Sandile, a Reverse Hollow League Staff, and the rare is a gold telescopic sight. That is awesome. Wow, this box has been crazy. Four packs, and we've had three ultra rare pulls. What the hell? Um, this is also one of the, the best trainer cards in this set. So the fact that we've just pulled the secret rare gold version is awesome. I am very happy with that. Look at, so these pulls in this booster box were like crazy. Um, booster box, Jesus. Um, this pre-release kit were crazy good. Like, I can imagine people being a little bit jealous if I'd opened this at a pre-release event. I will be honest. Especially when we got the uh, the Charizard promo card as well. So we're just going to go on to the extra free booster packs now and see if we can make this video even more crazier, um, which would be insane. I would love to pull an amazing rat. Just, yes, they're not like as playable as you want them to be, 
but they do look pretty cool. Like they're very colourful. Oh, we got some uh, crimped energy there for the, the collectors of miscut cards. You might want that. Um, we have a hero's medal, a stunfisk, sableye, clefairy, uh, tynamo, milkery, meowth, uh, chimeco. A reverse hollow beauty and the rare is a non hollow Samurot, which is a Pokemon you don't actually see get printed very often. Um, so it's quite cool that that's in this set. I did not know that. I don't know whether all of those um, starters are in this set or not. That's pretty nice that they've reprinted it again. Our penultimate pack. I mean, I'm not really expecting much from these extra packs, especially with the pulls that we've already had. But it'd be nice to see sort of the, the new cards and new Pokemon that we've got. So we've got Dusclops, uh, Electric, Charmeleon, Beldum, Blitzel, Milkery, Skidoo, or Skiddo, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sure I watched one of the the anime programs with that like sort of introduced that Pokemon and I'm sure they pronounce it completely different to how it's actually like sort of written on the card um, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, we've got Eevee, we've got a reverse hollow rare Yan Mega and the other rare is a non hollow shift tree. Okay so on to our last pack. Uh, can we get a little bit of last pack magic? and pull our fourth ultra rare of the video. We have a Cramorant, a Kakuna, Sir Chester Bath, a Blitzel, Slugma, a Beldum, Milkery, a Wooper, a reverse hollow Flareon, which looks pretty cool. They have like put the original evolutions back in the set, which is a nice little throwback. And our other rare is a non hollow two cannon. So, unfortunately, no pulls in the extra um, boosters that we got, but we had a very, very good uh, pre release box getting the Charizard Vivid Voltage Stamp promo. A Steelix V Halfer, an HSS V Max Fuller, and a Secret Rare Gold Telestopit Scope uh, Sight. Sorry. Um, so that was awesome. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and having a quick look at a pre release kit. Um, please remember to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you on the next video.